Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And once again, 2024, everything has been placed on the floor and on top of the table. As we see every day, we got to expect the unexpected. Things coming way out of left field and catching boys on the blind side. As we seen what happened with future metro booming last album we don't trust you as they had kendrick lamar on there and nobody could predict that and for sure couldn't predict that he will be dissing drake and j cole referencing them claiming the big three he said it was just me also gave them some other bars as well with well, a song like that end up being the number one song in the country and it's got the streets turned up and going crazy right now the album is still hitting as well now that led to the conversation on the internet who choosing sides who ain't rocking with drake no more metro and drake issues or do future and drake got this or that we don't got everything confirmed yet certain things been picked out and that's a whole nother story in itself right there well the speculation been coming up who was gonna respond to what kendrick lamar had to say on there because he jumped out there again calling niggas out directly well j cole ended up dropping might delete later Last song on there, Seven Minute Drill. He went directly at Kendrick Lamar's career, called him out about not dropping consistently, saying that this and this and that. But later on, came back at the Dreamville Fest and took it back, said that he would be deleting that track and said that, hey, Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest in the game. Well, it had got announced as well that Future Metro will be dropping another project this Friday. We still don't trust you. Drake hadn't really put nothing out there yet on the music side, but people are still waiting on that. What is he going to do? What is he going to say? But after that apology, niggas like, hold on, where is this thing headed? Well, we got another one that came out of left field. It's J. Cole is on this project with Future Metro Booming on the track with Red Leather. Some people are speculating these lyrics of him addressing everything that's going on. I can only speculate because I don't know when this was recorded. He is on the album. This could have been done weeks ago, last year, or whenever. We don't know. The internet go internet. But he said this. Twin Glocks with the switch piece that extends shots. It's a metaphor for the boy when you're in proximity. I can't stop right now. They going to remember me forever. My story's more clever. My smile's way better. My energy was never on some toughest nigga-ish. I was just a conscious rapper that would F a nigga be. I was just a college nigga from a rougher premises. Got my nose out the street, but I love to get a whiff of the action. With risk comes attraction. Blicks get the blast and I turned into a track star. Wanted all the H's. What the F you think I rap for? And he came through with a dope verse. This whole song is crazy. Red leather. From what I heard on the album, it's turned up. It's other things that people are saying there are sadistic as well, and I ain't even getting into that one yet. I want to speak on this J. Cole one first because this is the one that I did had on repeat. Future got dying on there. The beat is going crazy. He talking that talk. Hey, nah, you going to bob your head to this one, bro. If you just a vibe of the music, they came with a different energy. It seemed like it's more of some laid back vibes. Haven't really listened to the whole thing yet. People are still speculating. Do Kendra got something in the tuck? Do Drake got something in the tuck? I think J. Cole done made it clear. He not part of the back and forth for the beef no more. And I guess he's saying if I got to go with y'all to be top three, I don't want to be top three. We're going to see what uh, Drake and what Kendra going to do. I'm here for it. And I want to be clear once again. I respect J. Cole for him being honest with himself as a man being on and not trying to feel peer pressure that he got to jump out here and rap and everything but there's two sides to this i'm not disrespecting him as a man but in the sport of rap and hip-hop we have unwritten laws you're gonna say you the best you're gonna say you the hardest you're gonna say you ali you the greatest that mean you got to go ahead and battle the greatest this is the equivalent of you going to basketball practice and you Michael Jordan, you Kobe, you LeBron, or any of these niggas that think they them niggas, they say that you the best, you go into practice, you get the pop of your noise, you take off, and then they shoot the ball a couple times, da -da -da, you get the ball and y'all going back and forth a little bit, but when it get physical, it get real, you say, you know what, bro, I apologize. 
you really one of the greatest, man. You got it. So it's just a sport thing, bro. But shout out to J. Cole. Shout out to Future Metro album going crazy. Drake, I'm here for it. We ready for your response. Dive in that water. Go at that nigga Kendrick. Kendrick is outside every day. That nigga does burpees and Compton, nigga. So he ready for all this. He did not want no apology. He has always said he's doing it for the sport of hip-hop. That's what he rap about. We here for it all. Good music all year. 2024 have been turned up. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.